Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen, risen indeed. Alleluia. Rejoice all creation, let the heavenly chorus sing. Jesus Christ, our light is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendour Christ has conquered. Glory fills you, darkness will vanish forever. Rejoice, O church of God, exult in glory. The risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. Good morning, everyone, on this wonderful Easter Sunday. Christ has risen from the tomb. He has conquered the grave. Our reading this morning comes from Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. Jesus has risen. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Let's place ourselves back on Friday when the disciples had watched Jesus die on the cross. I'm sure that they truly felt that everything had been cancelled. Everything they had known and been taught for the past three years had been cancelled. And I'm sure that they felt some sense of abandonment. For us here, we may feel that Easter has been cancelled because we are spending so much time indoors. We are not allowed to mix, to meet in church today. But Easter has not been cancelled. Jesus will never be stopped. Coronavirus cannot stop Jesus, cannot stop him rising from the grave and cannot stop Easter. The women still felt the call to do the thing that women always do. And at dawn they went to anoint Jesus' body, the sweet smell it with sweet smelling spices and oils. The women ventured out whilst the men hid in fear and sorrow, even shame for their part in deserting Jesus in his hour of need. As they came close to the tomb, they realised that the stone had been rolled away. The stone had not been rolled away to let Jesus out, but so that people could get in to see that he had indeed risen from the dead, just as he had promised them. Jesus was not there. How amazing it must have been. How the women must have felt. The angel announces the good news of the resurrection to the women and gave them four messages. Do not be afraid. The reality of the resurrection brings truth and light and life, not fear. When we get afraid of the things that are around us, when we see only sadness, remember the empty tomb and the joy and the hope that brings. Jesus is not there. Jesus was not dead and the women were not it to search for him among the dead. He was alive and well and with his people. Jesus is with us all each day through his Holy Spirit. He is alive and is with his people. 
come and see. The angel invited them to come inside the tomb and discover for themselves that Jesus was not there. We too can discover for ourselves the truth of the resurrection life through reading our Bibles, through prayer and through relationship with Jesus our Saviour. Go quickly and tell. The women were to go and spread the good news to the people. This is true for us today. We are to tell all we meet through our words, through our actions of joy and hope that we have in Jesus, our risen Lord and Saviour. As the women hurry away to do as the angel has told them, they literally bump into Jesus on the road. They are afraid. Who wouldn't be? They had watched their Lord die on the cross. And yet here he is walking around. But it says that they were filled with joy. Jesus says to go and tell his brothers, the disciples, even though they had disowned and deserted him only three days before, this shows that Jesus had forgiven them. Just as Jesus forgives us when we go our own way, often in the opposite direction that Jesus wants us to. In the days that the disciples spent weeping and grieving, Jesus had descended down into the deepest, darkest parts of death. But death could not overcome Jesus. Instead, Jesus overcame death. On that Sunday, the women expected to visit a place of upset and despair in the Easter Garden but instead they found life, pure and absolute life, resurrection life. All those who had been bound by death had been released into life. All who were to face death in the days, weeks, months and even millennia to come would find life instead. Just as Jesus promised, he rose from the dead. Because of this, we can be confident that he will accomplish all that he has promised. Death is not the end. There is life to come. During this time of coronavirus, we may feel fear, uncertainty and grief. We may feel like we are locked in a tomb, longing for life, for company, for normality. But just as Jesus rose from the grave and left the tomb, we too will be able to see our loved ones again and laugh, hug and play. New life, new things are on the horizon. Jesus promised new life and new life lies ahead for all of us. In the meantime, we continue to live in this strange time. But it is so important to hold on to the promises of Jesus that we are not alone. He is with us through this and offers us light, hope, joy and new life today on this Easter Sunday and always. Let us pray. God, our provider, by the power of your word, you create all things. And by your spirit, you renew the earth. Give, new, give now the water of life to all who thirst for you and nourish all who hunger for you. That our lives may be the abundant fruit of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Eternal giver of light and life, this new day shines with the radiance of the risen Christ. Renew your church with the spirit that we may worship you in sincerity and truth and shine as your light in the world. Through Jesus Christ, your firstborn, who is alive with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The risen Christ is in our midst, so with Christ we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. And so may God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. May you know his love, his peace, his grace, his joy and his new life this day and always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you. Be with those you love and pray for this day and always. And from our family to yours, we wish you a very happy Easter. <laughs>